Hey YouTube, Nader690 here and I'm coming at you with another video for the Apple TV 4 and what this one is going to be about is how to install Moonlight uh, on your Apple TV 4 sideloading it with Xcode and what it is if you don't know if you use Nvidia's game stream what this app will allow you to do is stream your full collection of games from your desktop to your Apple TV 4 to allow you to play them on your Apple TV 4 and uh, if you want to see some demos uh, in the link that I'll give you to uh, the GitHub page, you can just click on these pictures right here and it'll take you to YouTube and you can watch what it does. And I'm going to make the video because there are some errors that need to be fixed, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through them. And so the first thing that you're going to want to do when you get to this page is go down here to the uh, link and we're going to right click on it and copy it. And then what you'll do is you'll open up Xcode, you'll go to source control, check out, and then down here you'll paste the link right there and click next. Go up here and click on master and then next again. And we'll save it to uh, the documents. And as always I'm starting fresh again. Uh, I uninstalled it from the Apple TV so that way we can walk through all the steps. And I just recently uh, deleted Xcode and installed Xcode 7.2. So in this video I may uh, come up with a couple of uh, Xcode errors that I might need to fix so you guys will be able to see those too in case you encounter the same thing. And this right here, I don't know why it always gets stuck on 122.6 MB, but if you let it run for just a minute it will finish downloading the rest of it okay that actually took a couple of minutes but as you can see it, it did finish so now we're in Xcode and the first thing you're gonna do is go up here to scheme and you're going to go to Moonlight TVOS and then pick your Apple TV. Mine's called Living Room. And it's going to index. We'll go ahead and press play and just see what happens here. Okay, first thing I got to do is fix this uh, no provisioning profile error. So I'll go ahead and fix that. Got my uh, personal team right there, so I'll choose that. and then since I just installed Xcode I'm getting this error also and instead of importing I'm gonna go ahead and reset and then of course we're gonna get the uh, identifier error so let's go ahead and click done and then what you'll do is you'll go over here and click on moonlight make sure you're on the general tab go down here to moonlight tvos if this pan right here isn't open you'll click on this blue icon right here to open it up and then we'll just go here and we'll delete all this and I'll just put I'll just put com.nandor and we'll fix the issue there we go we got it that time sometimes you just have to put in different names until it'll take one okay now that we have the provisioning profile error fixed we'll go ahead and rebuild it again and now you'll see that we have uh, three more errors so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to this first error and you're gonna click on the little triangle and then you're gonna click on the exclamation point and that's gonna bring up this pan right here and what you'll do is you'll right click on the AV sample buffer display layer dot H and then we'll go back a couple of uh, a couple of things and go to AV foundation dot framework click on that and what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the headers file and then go to get info go down here to the lock type in your password and then change all of these to read write and then lock that and go ahead and close that 
and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the headers folder you're going to go down here until we find AV sample buffer display layer dot H the same one that was up here we're going to right click on that and get info scroll down here to the bottom to the lock type your password again change these to read and write go ahead and lock it and close out of that and then just double click on it to open it up and what you're going to do is you're going to go down here to line 41 and behind the semicolon right here you're going to delete the TVOS prohibited make sure you're leaving the semicolon there or else you'll get another error and then you're going to go down here to line 46 and just delete the TVOS prohibited again make sure you delete the whole thing go up here to file save and then close out of that and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just rebuild it again and once it gets done we'll get build succeeded and you can see it's now installed and running on the Apple TV so there you go guys and uh, once it's on the Apple TV what you'll do is you'll click on moonlight and then it'll bring up a uh, the screen and you'll click on host and then you'll have to put in the IP address of where you're hosting it from your desktop computer and you'll have to set all that up this video right here is is really just to show you how to work around the errors to get Moonlight running on tvOS. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'll check you guys later.